this is Erin Gates from Lizzie Knits and Three Birds Yarn Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to do the two over one LPC and the two over one RPC cable knit stitches. Um, and before we begin, I wanna break it down a little bit. Um, so the two over one means that two stitches are going to cross on top of one stitch. So this whole cable set is worked over three stitches. Um, so two stitches will be in the front, one stitch will be in the back. Now, um, we will change which, uh, if the first two are in front of the second, uh, the third stitch, that means the stitch will be left leaning. That's for the L, LPC means left leaning. But if we put the second two stitches in front of the first stitch, then that will make it right leaning. So LPC means left purl cross, right, or RPC means right purl cross. And last thing that makes this stitch a little bit unique is the PC, purl cross. Now, most standard cable knitting stitches is worked just with knit stitches, but this one, that one stitch that's going to be in the back, that one gets purled. So first let's start off with, I'm going to do with my swatch here, I'm going to do each of them three times. So first one is the, we'll do the two over one LPC, left, the left purl cross first. So we'll start with these, for the next three stitches here. So we want this left leaning. So I am going to put these two stitches in front of this stitch. And bear with me a sec, I realize I didn't grab a cable needle. Um, to be honest, I don't usually knit with a cable needle, so maybe on the last one I'll show you how I do it. Um, okay, but the directions, I'm gonna use a DPN for my cable needle. So left purl cross, two over one. I'm going to slip the first two stitches onto my cable needle and hold them in the front of the work. Those are gonna hang out for a minute. And then I want to purl the third stitch. Okay. And then I will knit the two that I was holding. It's kind of awkward because those are the first stitches on my row here. Okay, so I just worked three stitches and I have two stitches leaning to the left and one in the back that's a purl. I'm gonna show it to you again because I think I did get a little lost here since I was on the edge. Um, okay, I have a little purl knit spacer here to separate these. Okay. Let's do, the, let's, do, let's do that again. Um, next three stitches, I'm going to take the first two and hold it to the front. Cable needle, slip them to the front. Let those hang out in the front a little bit. And I wanna purl that third stitch. Purl. Now the two that were on the cable needle, we'll knit those. All right, this is a little clearer now on this second one. Now you have a nice little, let's see if I can bring it a little closer. The two stitches are leaning to the left and that one in the back that was purled. Okay, do this again. So let me just say it one more time. Two over one LPC, left purl cross. Let's take those two, those first two, to the cable needle, hold it in the front. Purl the third stitch. And then knit the two from the cable needle. Okay. And then let me put my little just purl stitch divider here. Okay, let's see. 
you got three left leaning um, two over one LPC. And it's kind of hard to see and to, unless you're like establish your pattern, but that one in the back is purled. Um, so let's do this one more time. I'm gonna show you just real quick how I would do this without a cable needle. Cause I know those first two need to be in the front. So I need to just grab that third stitch cause I'll be working with that one first. I take this out of all three needles. I'm, I'm going to do my cross like manually all at once. Cross that one over, put that last stitch back. Now that's first. And I know that I have to purl that one. And then I knit the first two, the two that are gonna be in the front. So that's how I cable without a cable needle, but I'm going to be making a separate video about that because cable knitting without a cable needle is very, very handy and it takes practice, but I highly recommend it. All right, we did the four two over one LPCs. Now let's do a couple RPC. So it's kind of opposite. This time, instead of having the first two stitches of the three go in front. These second stitches are going to go in front and they'll be leaning to the right. So we need to get that first stitch out of the way. So take just the first stitch and hold it onto a cable needle. But this one we want in the back. Oops. Okay, so that stitch is hanging out in the back. I'm going to knit these two that are going to be crossed in the front. And then that one single stitch from the cable needle is going to be purled. All right, and then my little purl divider here, spacer. All right, so look, you can see the RPC next to the LPC. It's now moving to the right. Okay, let's do that one more time. Grab my cable needle. Needle. The first stitch is going to get slipped and held to the back. Always. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, and then knit those second two stitches. Okay, and then the one stitch that's on the cable needle curl it. And then my little pearl spacer here. So now, okay, show you again. I've got two, there's another one that's leaning to the right. Okay, let's do it again. That first stitch gets held to the back. Actually, make this a little easier. And I'm using a DPN, which is not ideal, but it totally works. You can really use anything. I've heard people can use a pencil, but um, normally if you have a nice little curved cable needle too, it will be flapping around like mine is. Um, okay, that first stitch is in the back. Let's knit those two from the left needle and then purl the one from the cable needle. Okay, then my purl spacer. Now we have three that are leaning to the right, and I'm gonna show you, let's see, if I wanna do this without a cable needle, I know that one needs to go in the back, so I'm just going to grab these two first, um, pull the uh, left needle out of all three, insert it back into that one, I'll do my cross now, put them all back, so now the cross is in place and you can just do what you need to do. So I knit two, and I know that one in the back is pearl. All right, and then that last little pearl stitch. Okay, um, so those are the, here's the left leaning ones and the right leaning ones. So two over one LPC, RPC. And remember two over one means two in the front, crossing over one in the back. Okay, thank you so much for watching, enjoy.